when you set out to do these scores, there's normally a few definite pillars which you know you're going to do. Like we know we're going to have a rocket taking off, we know we're going to have a moon landing sequence. But what was marvellous is what Scott and Todd have managed to bring into the, the script is a really the human story. Again, that's marvellous for a composer, but it's not just big rocket music, you know, or just a, will they land and all that. No, we've got a young couple getting together. You know, we've got a um, modern day um, grandfather and him sort of looking back on his life. So there's loads of lovely moments for me to get into a, more of a heart of a story and, and hopefully tease out some human you know, side of it. What, what did it mean for human beings to do this amazing feat? And of course, music's a marvellous way to express all that. So there's quite a lot of um, heart in there as well. Standing up for the first queue and seeing all this music in paper form, which has taken me, I don't know, nine or ten weeks to write, normally on my own in a room. It's marvellous. I come here and then suddenly there's a hundred people. I know them all over the years. They're all, hey, hey James, how are you doing? And then we play the first cue and it's just marvellous for me. It's magic because obviously it all comes to life. It's always better than I imagine. And after a few cues, you start seeing a few smiles around the orchestra. They start to really understand the language of what you're doing and you get to a point where you can start to enjoy it. And uh, that's very much what I'm doing at the moment.